This is RSI3, R package for Cytoscape, and Cytoscape 3.7.0. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the filtering networks vignette. It begins with installing RSI3, if you haven't already. In addition, we'll be using the String app. We'll begin by querying the string database for a breast cancer network. It'll take a second while it pulls in a new network, the top 100 nodes associated with breast cancer. Next, we'll create a degree filter. In this case, we're finding everything with a degree of three or greater. By default, Cytoscape will perform a selection based on your filter criteria. The function returns the list of nodes that are selected. We can take this selection and create a subnetwork. Here are the 59 most highly connected nodes from the original network. Now we'll return to the original network and create a column filter. This one using the degree, the disease score uh, provided by the string database. Here again, we've made a selection, 30 genes, have a disease score of four or greater. And again, we can make a subnetwork from that selection. The powerful thing with filters is being able to combine them. And this is called a composite filter. Using the create composite filter, we can reference the degree filter and the disease score filter that we made above and create a new composite filter and a new subnetwork with these two lines. We can apply a layout to better visualize this new subnetwork. And in the final step of the vignette, we'll show that you can also apply a filter, for example, our composite filter. And instead of selecting nodes, you can hide the filtered nodes. And here we see the 29 nodes um, but the others simply hidden on the original network of 100 nodes.